How we doing, everybody? This is SB Real Brad, and today I'm gonna be talking about the infamous great comedy of 2006 that was such a massive hit when it came out and had so much controversy to it. And now they're making a sequel that's coming out next week from Amazon called Borat Cultural Learnings of America for Make Benefit Glorious Nation of Kazakhstan, or just Borat. Let's get to the review. So this is a 2006 mockumentary comedy film that was directed by Larry Charles and was co-produced and written by Sasha Baron Cohen. This is easily one of the most funniest, absurd, ridiculous, and over the top comedies I think I've ever seen in my whole entire life. I was laughing so hard watching this movie and I think I grew a much deeper appreciation and I understood the joke so much better since the first time I watched it back when I was like 16 years old. I think when I was 16, I hadn't really had an understanding of the world and how people treat other people and their cultures and their languages and and that social awkwardness that that people can create. I just didn't fully grasp that concept. And so seeing it now, especially in today's climate, it was definitely a really refreshing comedy that still holds up to this day and is absolutely hilarious. So let's start off with the comedy to hear. The comedy is the forefront of the movie. Pretty much all this movie is improvised and you will know the scenes that are scripted is just because it keeps the story going or it's just scenes between Sasha Baron Cohen's character, Borat, and his manager person that goes with him. Usually the scenes with them are improvised. It kind of gives more of the story, a little bit of a structure of going and adding the gags with it to make it all the more funny. Sasha Baron Cohen is absolutely tremendous with the comedy in this movie and just how he's able to improvise so well with all the other people that he meets and just has a line for them every time they say something and knows exactly how to make it funny, how to make it creative, and just knows how to keep it together and never breaking character once in this movie. But he is just truly phenomenal as it is. I mean, he is just one of the best actors that is working today with so much variety and there's so much that he can do that he's so versatile in that way. Borat does not work without Sasha Baron Conan because he has that charisma, he has that likability, but he also knows how to stay in character. He knows what to say and when to say, and if someone catches him off guard, he knows the next line that's already coming out of his head. He is a true comic genius with so much wit, and he's so clever, and he's just absolutely hilarious in general. I also love this mockumentary style. It's this low budget, really crappy quality looking film that even if it's in HD and it has a high resolution, it still doesn't look all that great, but that's what makes it the more believable, a little more raw to the film. That it, It's just, it doesn't feel like it's over stylized or over budgeted it feels all clean and nice it, it feels like someone was actually legitimately recording this in front of people and actually getting genuine reactions and it makes it the all more funnier the story of this movie is so ridiculous but that's what makes it the all more funny the story really does center around this guy named borat who wants to make a documentary and so he goes to America, which is the greatest country ever, and tries to learn their culture. It is so funny because he goes around to all these places trying to understand the culture and just seeing people's genuine reactions or people legitimately don't like him while he's filming is all the more impressive. He literally was telling people that he was this guy named Borat and he was actually filming a documentary just like the movie. So it feels so realistic. and. It just shows how racist and terrible American people are to other foreigners who don't truly understand other people's cultures. And granted, Sasha Baron Cohen's character, Borat, isn't necessarily of Kazakhstan or trying to emulate anything that's of the Kazakhstan culture and the people, but it's just all the more funny of how this movie really is against the American culture of how we treat other people and not really about ripping or being racist or stereotyping the the cultures that are being represented. Another amazing aspect is the legal and public controversy of this movie. Learning that so many people that were involved were suing this movie, trying to get money out of them, and were absolutely upset with what they were doing is all the more great. Some of it is really because they had no idea that the intent of the film 
was in this manner of that it was just trying to make a movie and this guy wasn't actually real but the thing is they got away with it because they were being honest he was staying in character like we're technically making a documentary as his character even though that wasn't the intent they really won every lawsuit and i was very impressed that they were able to do that many people were signed forms of release after they shot the film just like hey like you know you know sign this here so you don't sue us like this is just part of a movie and so they got away with that but there was also other people that were really upset and there was major people that were involved in some certain scenes that were genuinely upset with this movie and just had a public outcry of it and that is just so really hilarious to me because some of these people actually look really terrible and how they treat borat because they they think he's an actual person like an actual real person and not an actor and and so how they treat him is probably the more funnier aspect of this movie i think for some negatives with this movie i feel like some parts of the story don't necessarily work for me i think some of it is really hilarious and really ridiculous but some of it just doesn't really fold together and it's just kind of there for the sake of being a story some of it is kind of predictable it's kind of that same basic structure we've seen in comedy films it's, it's okay like it's nothing bad i think they could have did a little bit more with that aspect but overall i think this is a hilarious ridiculous over the top movie that i still find hilarious to this day and the people that were absolutely upset about this movie just truly saw out this movie at face value and not truly seeing what this movie was trying to say and what it was trying to emulate to people across the globe so i think people should give it another chance see what it's actually trying to say and realize how funny it is i'm gonna give this movie an eight out of ten you know have you guys seen borat are you guys excited for the next movie that comes out next week let me know down below i would love to hear about it and as always please like share the video please subscribe if you haven't already it means the world to me you guys are liking my video subscribe to my channel you guys are the best as always i'll see you guys next video